passion that had moved into his body like a stranger. I don't quite understand what I can do for you. Is there a question of law somewhere? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. Because there's nothing illegal about a girl falling in love with an emperor. What about it? If the only reason for it is to get his papers. Well, first of all, you don't know that. I can see in his eyes. He's laughing at her and he's laughing at me. It's, I'm a lawyer. I only deal with what's provable. Can you prove that? I know what's in his mind, Mr. Alfieri. Eddie, even if you could right, prove please, that. Please, please, Mr. Alfieri. My, my father always said that you was a very smart man, so please, please just listen to me. I, I'm only please. a lawyer, Eddie. Please, please listen to me. I, 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 I'm talking about the law, so, so let me just bring out something here. Now, now, uh, a guy who comes into this country illegal, doesn't stand the reason he's going to put every penny he's got into his sock, because he don't go from one day to another, right? All right. This guy's spending, see? Records he buys, and, and jackets, and shoes. Do you understand, huh? This guy ain't worried. This guy is here. So it must be he's got it all laid out in his mind that he's staying, right? Well, what about it? Listen, I'm talking to you confidential. Certainly. Okay, this this don't go nowhere else but here. I, I, I don't like to say this about anybody. Even, even my wife don't exactly say it. What is it? The guy ain't right, Mr. Alfieri. What do you mean? I mean he ain't right. I don't get it. Do you ever have a look at him? Not that I know of. He's, no. a, he's a blonde guy, see? Platinum, you, you know what I mean? No. You can hold the paper over fast, it can blow him away. Well, Eddie, that doesn't Well, listen, listen, please. I'm just trying to bring out something. Now, he sings, see? Which is okay, but sometimes it's a no nice little round. It's like it's like high. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's a tenor. Well, I know what a tenor is, Mr. Alfieri. That ain't no tenor. I mean, if, if, if you came to a house and you didn't know who was singing, you wouldn't be looking for a him, you'd be looking for a her. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alfieri, I'm just trying to bring out my thoughts here. Now, a, a, a couple of nights ago, my niece comes in with a dress that is too short for her because she shot up like a life this past year. He takes the dress and he lays it out on the table and he cuts it up and one, two, three, and he makes a new dress. And he just looks so sweet there. Like an angel did it, take a kiss him, he was so sweet. And he, of course, you're yeah, laughing at him on the pairs, Mr. Alfieri. I'm ashamed. Paper doll, they're calling him. Blondie, now. His brother thinks he's supposed to got a sense of humor, which he got. But that ain't what they're laughing at. Which they're not going to come out and say it because he's my relative because they had to deal with me if they're going to make a crack. But I know what they're laughing at. When I think of that guy putting his hands on her, I just... It's just... I, I, it's just eating me out, Mr. Alfieri, because I because I struggled for that girl, and now he comes into my house and Eddie, he just thinks he can. Eddie, listen, I have my own children. I understand, but the law is very specific. The law. No, you mean to tell me that there is no law which a guy can get right to pick up in this country and take a girl no, you and marry her? You have no recourse to the law. Eddie. But if the guy ain't right, Mr. Alfieri, there is Eddie. nothing you can do. Believe me. Nothing. Nothing at all. There is only one legal question. What? Well, the manner in which they entered the country. But I'm sure you don't want to do anything about that, do you? You do me. Well, they entered illegally. Oh, Jesus, no, 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 God, I would never do nothing like that, no. It's... All right. All right. No, I can't believe what you're telling me. It's, it's, it's no law, it's, it's no... Let me talk. Sometimes God makes up to me. You know, sometimes there's too much love. And it goes where it mustn't. A man works hard and raises up a niece or a daughter. Over the years, without realizing it, there's too much love for the daughter. There's, there's too much love for the niece. Do you understand what I'm saying? You mean I, I shouldn't be looking out for her own good? Yes, 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 of course. But, but it's got to end, that's all. Because a, a child has to grow up and go away. And a man has to learn how to forget. Because after all, Eddie, what other way can it end? Let her go. That's my advice. You did your job. It's her life. Wish her luck and let her go. Can you do that? Because there's no law in it. Make up your mind to it. The law is not interested in this. Even if he's a punk. Even if your guy's a punk, there is nothing you can do. All right. I, I, I
Uh, thank you. And uh, thank, thank you very much. What are you going to do? What, what can I do? I'm a patsy. What should a patsy do? I, I've worked like a dog for, for 20 years so that a punk could have a... That's what I've done. No, I mean, I, I mean in the worst of times. In, in, in the worst, when, when there wasn't a ship coming in the harbor, I didn't stand around like waiting for welfare. I hustled. When there were empty piers in Brooklyn, I went to Hoboken and Staten Island and, and the West Side and, and I went Jersey all over because I made a promise. I took it out of my mouth and I gave it to her. I took it out of my wife's mouth and I gave it to her. I walked plenty of days hungry in this city. And now I gotta sit in my own house and watch a son of a bitch punk who okay, comes out of nowhere. And I give him the, the, the roof over my head and the blanket over my bed and he goes, he, he takes his dirty, filthy hands on him like a goddamn thief. But she's a woman now. No, he's stealing from me. She wants to get married now. She can't marry you, can she, Eddie? What are you talking about? Marry me? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I gave you my advice. That's it. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just a, it's breaking my heart. That's all. I, I understand. Can you put it out of your mind? Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll see this. I'll see this.